I'm gonna try something new. I don't really know where to start, but I am inspired by Daniel Thomas, aka Pee Toms. It's a virtual friend that I, we just recently lost to cancer. And I've been watching a lot of his videos and I like how he makes videos. I like, I love how honest he always was in his whole journey. And I love, I love the mix of honesty and silliness. Well, I am still a bit emotional about it, but I guess I would like to be as brave as he is and make super honest vlogs just about things that I'm going through, things in my life, thoughts that I have, questions, worries or dreams or all of that. So I don't know how that is going to go. I don't know if people will find me and how to make that interesting. Like how, why? Why did I care so much about Daniel Thomas, even though I didn't know him? What, what about his vlogs was so addictive, so nice? I think it's his honesty and his silliness. And because frankly, <laughs> some of the videos were not even like that super interesting. And still I keep on watching and, and then I want to watch another one. I want to watch another one. I'm still binge watching the videos until this day even though he's not adding any new ones unfortunately but I also got this head full of thoughts and, and ideas and I'm wondering about things and I'm struggling with things and I'm curious about things and I'm dreaming about things and I'm trying to figure things out and it's quite an interesting <laughs> thing going on in my head and I get, I, I would kind of like to share that and I think I just have to be brave and just start doing that. And it's like super scary. And yet I believe that we are all not that different. So a lot of the things that are going on in, in my head and in my life, you will recognize in a slightly different version. And I, for some reason, I think I can help help some people by doing that. I'm not really sure why. I think because I'm not scared of sharing them. I'm scared of nobody watching and feeling a bit like a fool <laughs> for sharing that. Anyway, we'll see. So a few days ago, I don't want to cry in my first video. A few days ago, I lost a friend that I never met and I know many, many, many people in the social media world that were following him feel the same way. I'm also, I'm HSP, I don't know if you know that, that's like a highly sensitive person. So everything is like super intense for me. Everything I feel is like extra intense. I'm, I'm going to put a link in the, in the description below about HSP because that's also extremely interesting topic just to say that I'm, I'm a very emotional person and so we lost him to cancer and something he really really wanted so badly is that as many people as possible will watch his videos and learn about his type of cancer cancer in general as well if you want what that feels like for a young person to go through for him specifically in this case how he struggled to find information about it how he struggled to get the right help how they tried so many things and some things worked for a little while some things were didn't work at all how he went up and down psychologically it's it's extremely interesting and if you're struggling with any of that go watch his channel. There are many, many channels probably about people with cancer and I, I didn't watch all of them at all. But one thing I know is that his channel is extremely helpful. 
you're gonna get strength from that and just because he wanted as many people as possible to be watching those videos to learn and to get educated and to possibly hopefully help other people I, I just want to share that message as well and I will put his links in the description as well so you can find him and just recently his family posted a video that everybody is invited to the funeral and because his virtual family is so huge and they are from all over the world so like 90% of people watching him and loving him cannot go to that celebration of his life and I could read all these sad messages like I so wish I could be there and I could feel that as well I was like ready to, to buy plane tickets and train tickets and just be crazy and just go there also for me to say goodbye to like a friend and to hug the family or whatever but I'm sure many people are gonna go and they're gonna be able to hug them and send them our love as well but because I couldn't go I still wanted to be part of this celebration of his life and wanted to find something positive to do to be part of that from a distance and that is why I decided to do random acts of kindness in memory of Dan Thomas and then share that with his family without wanting to be annoying and intruding in their life and their grieving right now. But to send positive energy to them and to show them that Dan made a positive ripple in this world and I want to pay it forward and I want them to know that he has done very positive things and that they, they keep going on and I don't know just sending positive vibes I guess and, and, and to them and to uh, obviously hopefully the people I'm doing the kind act to I decided never to be part of the moment when people receive the gift or the the surprise I prepared because I think that's part of the random for me that I don't need the thank you in person because it's not about me and tonight I will go and do my second one and I'm already nervous because I am not used to recording myself in, in public of course I choose places where nobody can see me hopefully <laughs> doing that I guess I'm from another generation or I just have to practice a bit more but I'm very very self-conscious when I'm recording myself in public. I prefer to hide in my house. <laughs> so I have to be brave, but I want to, because I want to pay it forward. I want to send positivity in the world, in memory of him, to celebrate. It's a way to celebrate his life. And I'm gonna try to make vlogs like this um, sometimes as well. You can call it a challenge. The challenge is being brave enough to make a vlog about things that are going on in my life or in my head. And because I've been watching so many videos of Dan lately, I saw him just, just do it. Like just talk and just share and just ask and just do it and record and put it out there and and just do it so I'm gonna face my fear I guess and just do it and I hope you enjoy it and I really hope you're gonna be interactive because I already know my thoughts I just I want to know yours so what would I want to know today I would want to know <laughs> whether you're interested in videos like that I think it's gonna be interesting but I hope some people share that opinion I would like to know whether you sometimes do random acts of kindness. Yes, please tell me. You could give me ideas as well. Yeah, I would like to know that. And if you knew Dan Thomas, you're always also very welcome to share with me how you are celebrating his life and how you are doing. Let's spread some love and let's just do it. And I also have to find a way to say goodbye in the super coolest way. But for now, I'm gonna steal his one. I'm gonna borrow his one because it will always be his one. His one was 
See you later. Ta-da. Bye-bye. Miss you, Dan. We miss you.